In the state of Alabama, you either root for Auburn or for Alabama on this day near the close of every college football season. The city of Birmingham, you can drive down any street, in fact, in the whole state, probably any road, and have no competition on the highway. Everybody's inside to watch number four, Alabama, take on pesky old foe Auburn at Legion Field in Birmingham, where we may have an all-time record crowd today. Their last outing two weeks ago, a most decisive win over Penn State at State College, Pennsylvania. Auburn started out with a win. Upset by Wake Forest, lost to Tennessee and Nebraska. 1-2, then lost one. Lost by only four to Mississippi State, then won two more, and their last game defeated by the Georgia Bulldogs. Auburn will kick off. Joey Jones is deep for Alabama. Dave Flanks kicks it off for the blue-shirted Auburn Tigers, and the game is underway. It is Lenny Patrick on the far sideline, bringing it back up the field, and the Tigers swarm him. But it is Alan Gray, the senior from Tampa, starting with Joe Carter, Ken Simon, and Paul Carruth behind him out of the wishbone. And it goes to Simon, number 20. And Simon is walloped. Here's a look at the people in the backfield. Gray, 6'2", 184. Ken Simon, 6'1", 198. Paul Carruth, a sophomore, 207 pounds. And Joe Carter, 189 pounds. They're all from this part of the country. With Joey Jones in there right now. Joey is only 5'9", 165. A sophomore from Mobile, he can fly. They stay on the ground out of the wishbone with Simon carrying the ball. It's Joe Beasley, 247 pound tackle. Mike Adcock, a 242 pound guard. Steve Mata center at 247. Doug Vickers, right guard, 243. Mike McQueen, 243-pound sophomore, and Bart Kraut, 6'3", 225. Here are the people who are playing the defense for Auburn. Hardy, Nelson, Altman, Humphrey, Jackson, Skutak, Martin King, Drinkard, Harris, and Dominey. Right now, a five-man, six-man front up there for Auburn, and they go inside with it, and the Plainsman had him. He's in the punt. Malcolm Simmons averaging just under 44 yards per kick. It is not a particularly good punt. It does take an Alabama bounce. However, it is picked up by the Auburn man on the move. It is... Dead run! He may go! No, it's caught from behind. It's Chuck Clinton from Pensacola. Clinton had returned only four punts all year, so you can see how they've been moving around at Auburn, finding new places for new people to play as Pat Dye, in his first year, makes changes. Second down and nine from the Alabama 13. The quarterback takes it down the line to the 10-yard line. That is Ken Hobby. The Auburn offensive unit, Joe Sullivan, got the starting call. George Peoples at tailback. Lionel James is a halfback. He is a sophomore. Mike Edwards is a halfback. He is a junior. Christopher Woods is the split end. And he is a sophomore. Joe Sullivan is back in now as Pat Dye alternates his quarterback. The so-called designated quarterback system. It is third down at about six. And it's into the middle for the ball carrier, Ron O'Neill. A two for Auburn up front, David Jordan, 245-pound tackle. Charlie Garnham, a 215-pound guard. Not very big. Bob Hicks, the center, 228. Keith Euchre, 262 at guard. Pat Arrington, 255 at tackle. And the tight end is Ed West at 6'1", 231. Auburn now on fourth down will go for the field goal. From 25 yards, Al Del Greco out of Joe Sullivan's hold. It is in the air. And he missed it. Five for the Cajuns when they have their backs to the wall. And again, we watch the field goal. Let's see. Evidently, Keith, he didn't compensate quite enough for the ball on the right hash mark. Some of the Auburn players were complaining, but the judgment of the officials, it was outside when it went through there. Great defensive play at Penn State stun number one, Pittsburgh, 48 to 14. The ball is on the 17, second down and 13. Gray keeps it, and he's loose down the sidelines with some help. He gets one block, and now they get him all the way down at the Auburn 20. 
The Alabama offensive unit sealed off the left side. Auburn was overcommitted. Jesse Bengross lines up at wide receiver. The ball goes to Carew. Then Paul Carew hits it over the right side. In. Now they've got a double wing set up. Different offensive set for Alabama. As Gray goes to the right side and gets around the corner. Inside the 15 to the 13. It's the roof. It is a first down, as you saw, for Alabama. The ball is just outside the Auburn 10. It goes inside the number 20, Ken Simon, and the junior. Three running backs back there. We can all block and carry the ball. Outside it goes to the roof, to the corner, to the goal line. Short. Gray keeps. Touchdown, Alabama. Kick. Young man from Honolulu. Nails it out of Gray's hold, and it's good. So Alan Gray goes for 65 yards on that 80-yard march, and Alabama takes the lead. And here's the kickoff. Terry Sanders hits it, and Clayton Buford is the deep man, but he won't get it. It goes to a short man, Ed Graham. And Graham gets out of there, and look at this. Once again, Auburn gets very good field position. Now the Tigers come up out of the wishbone. And Sullivan is the quarterback. Outside it goes. And Willie Howell, junior. Break the bone, put a man in motion. That's Howell. Pressure's on, the pass is off over the middle, the pass incomplete, intended for Christopher Wood. Joe Sullivan is back now at quarterback for Auburn, and he alternates quarterbacks, depending on the circumstance on the field. And Sullivan on a roll, the younger brother of Pat Sullivan, who won the Heisman at Auburn, gets it across the 35. The 10 white shirts up front, now they peel off. The kick goes to Jones, not too deep, at the 25. And coming downfield, number two to make the play, that is Chuck Clinton. Lewis back to throw it. Sets up his screen, the pass is caught. And the gain is out to about the 28. Fagan drops off the field. Second down and six for Alabama. From the 27, the ball is given off to Ricky Moore. Fumble, fumble, and he a white shirt on it. Ball is just outside the 31. Third down and three. It's Lenny Patrick. Dives for the yard marker, and I don't know if he made it. Rush on, kick is away. Penalty flag thrown downfield. Clanton has it, and there's nothing but white shirts around it. And they got it. Got 12 men on the field, Keith. Too many men on the field. Receiving team. 48-yard line, first down for the Tide, and Lewis to throw it. He throws the pin ball, and it's just barely high. Just on second down and 10 for Alabama. They lead 7 to nothing in the first quarter. And Lewis will put it up. He goes for Jones, and Joey can't get to it. Third and 10. This is a running down for Alabama. Nope, they don't throw it. Down, back inside the 30. Lost his footing. Auburn had four people. Simmons kick is away and it's a dent. Clinton backs up to his 21. Looking for a little help and can't get much. He had one man down there helping him. That was not enough. The defensive front for Alabama, Pitts, Klein, Lyles, Edwards, and Wood, and they're big. 267, 257, 248, 215. Secondary and linebackers there, Jones, Boyd, Castile, Theron, Wilcox, and Jim Bob Harris. Auburn with the ball, just short of the 30. Alabama leading 7-0, and Hobby is the quarterback for the Tigers. It goes to the second man outside, and Lionel James, Clayton Buford now comes in. He is the third quarterback. <laughs> yeah. 
Hubert quick comes off that snap in a hurry. He pulls it down, runs for the corner, and Boyd. Uh, you have a number 89 at the backfield now. That's Mike Edwards. James goes in motion. Hobby is in his quarterback, pressure zone, trying to set up a screen to the sidelines. They've got some room. They've got a first down. Pass goes to the tight end, Ed West. It's first down. He's just over the 45. Outside goes the quarterback, Hobby. And he's horse collared. Second down and a long seven. Ball is on the 48. Play goes into the middle with George Peoples carrying. Particular circumstance. We've seen three already. James goes in motion. Passes away. The pass is complete to Ed West. And West is inside the 20 and down at the 18. Would you believe what that kid did at quarterback? At the Alabama 19, 31-yard pickup. Hobby is back in at quarterback. It goes inside to the big guy. George People, Clayton Buford now in at quarterback. He gives it to People, and People is almost popped out of there with it. Buford breaks his bone now. Leaving Peoples, the long remaining back. The double wing set up, and he has the ball, and he has the first down as he reaches the Alabama eight. First and goal to go. Hobby, the quarterback. Hobby back, looks to throw it. Throws, it is intercepted, I believe. Yes. Intercepted by Tommy Wilcox, the man that that guy and his staff fears more than any other. As the pass should not have been thrown, really. The Wilcox, time to recover, come in front, get in front of the receiver, West, catch the ball for the interception. Live action as Alabama tries to wedge it out. In the case of these two teams, you say, we don't have third and fourth stringers. We just have football players, and when these two teams play, it's just sick them. Right now, they're looking at second down and nine from their two. Penalty flag is thrown as Joe Carter slants it over the left side, gets it out near the five. Offside Auburn. It is second down for the Tide. They need four. Ray, the quarterback. He's got a first down. As he reaches the 15. Of course, the big 63 yard. First down for Alabama. And the ball is to Peruf. Peruf flips it outside. And Carter is knocked down up around. No, Ricky Moore it is. Game four, second down and six. Gray with it. And he is caught behind the line of scrimmage. Penetrating is Edmund Nelson, number 99. That's Mark Kraut, the tight end, flexes out wide to the left, top of the picture. Gray sets up to throw. Auburn gets it. Edmund Nelson again. Simmons stands in the end zone to punt. Hits it at the three. Spins it upfield to Clinton. Backs up at the 36. And brings it back. Uh, he backed up to the 41. And ball is just outside. The Tigers 48. First down for Auburn. And Sullivan gives it to Woods. And Christopher Woods coming around the corner on the river. Gets it down to about the Alabama 41. Uh, tried to hit the tight end for the touchdown. And had the ball intercepted in the corner of the end zone. There's your second option. It goes to James, and James cannot get around the field. He's got just about the line of scrimmage. On the oh, bending. defense. First down for Auburn. Just inside the Alabama, 32. Hubert bends it inside and gets a yard, maybe two, to each. Second down, nine from 30. One yard line as Hobby sets up throws for the corner. Incomplete intended for Christopher Wood. And it's third down and about nine. L. Blue is now in there, defensive secondary. They send it inside and there is much in there. Who has missed in the ball game from 25 yards is now going to try to hit one from 43 and get Auburn on the scoreboard. It's up. He missed it to the right again. He missed the first one on the right side, and he misses this one on the right side, and he had plenty of lag on it. Thank you, Dave. And on first down, Alabama comes to the attack from the 27. 
And there is nothing out there for Walter Lewis. The weather is very pleasant. 60 degrees in Birmingham. And it's second down and eight. They take it inside. And uh, Ricky Moore, third down and about seven. A little more than seven. Lewis to Carruth. Carruth is caught and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good field position out of this. Malcolm Simmons averaging just under 44 yards. And boy, that's a dandy. He nailed it. That's Clanton. And Clanton comes across the 40 out to about the 43. First down for Auburn. And let's call it the 42. It's really closer there. The ball goes inside the people. Sullivan over the right tackle. Second down and about eight from near the 45. If it is caught and struggles for about two. Third and six. Look at this. They had Hobby in there. Oh, the pass caught by Woods, and the ball squirts loose, and Alabama man dives on it. He called it down, Keith. Completed it down. pass. The quarter, so he had two quarterbacks in the backfield, and they get an illegal procedure call against him. It's third down and two after the penalty. The pass is away to the sideline. The pass is completed to Tommy Carroll, but he is short of the first down at time. Joey lets it go, and he's knocked it out of bounds on the five. Ben Cross is tied in. Tied in, right. He's going to throw it out of the end zone. No, he didn't need it. Walter Lewis, who has to take it inside. And Kenny Simon trying to pick up the first down. 5.40 to go in the first half. And Alabama leading 7 to nothing. It is Joe Carter, and looks like Carter crossed the 15. First down. Four of the time, just over the 15, and Walter Lewis drops it. He looks downfield. He lets it go downfield, and the pass is caught by Tim Clark, and then he can't hold on. A unusual on a 60-degree day. Lewis getting some heat. Gets a good block. Now they get it. Third and long. And they give it off to Simon, and Simon does not get the first down. David King back. Fair catch called for Auburn. Oh, oh. First down from the 37. He's going to get this. Peoples is out there. It's a foot race. And it's touchdown. Del Greco tries for the tie. It's good. 3.47 to play in the first half and a bolt of lightning wearing blue. The game is tied. It is Carruth at the seventh. At about the 13. Ball is very close to the 12. Alan Gray coming toward the corner and takes a lick. At the 10. Fumbles. Fumbles and Auburn recovers it. Mark Germany came in and fell with Alan Gray and knocked the ball loose. Just short of the 10-yard line. First down for the Tigers and Sullivan gives it outside. And the gain is down to about the six with Willie Howell. Hobby is the quarterback now. At the Alabama six, second down. Double wing. People to the five. All those field goals would look good right now. They sure would. Buford now the quarterback. No, it's Hobby. It's Hobby. James has played good thing. Gets it out to James. James inside the five, rolled out at the 
four. Del Greco is in with a tee. 22-yard field goal attempt to give Auburn the lead. The snap is fumbled. And Sullivan tries to throw it away and doesn't work. It's a face mask filter, though, Keith, I believe. Penalty flag thrown back on the right of 20-yard line, so hold on everything here. Intentional grounding on the offense. Down, Cal. The ball goes over first down. Well, Alabama has the ball. We're all tied at 7-7. And the ball goes to Jeff Bacon, number 35. Second down and six. Walter Lewis drops back to throw, looks for Jones, deep down the middle. Jones is out there, well covered, and it is incomplete, intercepted. As the ball ricocheted off the cover man. And uh, David King knocked it away, and Dormany caught it just before it hit the turf. The 23. First down with a minute 20 to go in the first half. Bobby hands it off to Peoples, and George runs it up close to the 29. Peoples again surging up the middle for what appears to be a first down. Now look at this ball, Nate. A little triple wing. Triple wing to the top of the picture as Sullivan rolls that way and puts it in the air to the sidelines. And the man is taken out of bounds at the Alabama 47. It was Tommy Carroll. But if they can win it today, it will be number 315 for him. Moving him past Amos Alonzo Stagg as the winningest coach ever. Triple wing to the left side as Sullivan puts it up deep. And it is incomplete. 20 seconds to go in the first half. Sullivan. Sets up to throw it. He throws a, a broken wing downfield, and it's incomplete. That bird just didn't fly. Third down might be the last play of the first half. Same alignment, triple wing left. Illegal formation, too, Keith. The pass is away, and the pass is incomplete, and you've got a penalty flag. That ineligible downfield on the offense refused. If there is a penalty call for interference, the offense gets another play and they can right. kick a field goal. Right. He's got it up. Ball hits the ground, no flag thrown. First half is over. And after one half of play at Leaping Field in Birmingham, Alabama seven and Auburn seven. Uh huh. He's after. Alabama kicks off to start the second half. To Auburn. And that's Buford, quarterback, coming out of the end zone with it. And he gets his Number 11. leg locked. But Auburn has the ball now. In the first possession of the second half in a 7-7 ball game. And they go inside the people. And George is across the 20. Willie Howell is now in at the 20. James goes in motion on second down and seven. And the gain is out to about the 23 on his bicycle. Third down and a little over four. Peoples now has reached 100 yards on 13 carries of the ball game. And Sullivan is caught. Nope, gets away. Look at this. He gets his pass off. It's going to be picked off and dropped by Perrin. Denny Perrin had it. The kick, kick rush on by Alabama. Little feigning act put on by Bollinger, but it doesn't get him anything. That time he isn't going anywhere. But here's Alabama in good field position. Second down, 11 from their own 44 in a tie ball game at 7. And Coley looking for the corner. And he finds the corner, and he gets it up to midfield. It's third down and 5 from midfield. Coley. Turns it in the middle, penalty flag goes down, Coley goes down. Race mask against Coley. They break the bone as Coley hands it off inside the foot. The penalty really hurt Auburn because they had Alabama stopped on fourth and about two. Here's Coley. And Coley is gang tackled. They need a good two. up in the air Coley grabs it on the way down lunges and he's short but as Alabama's going to go on fourth and one all the linebackers settle in there they've got about a nine-man front up there they give it off to Moore he goes over the top 
and looks like he's got his first down. First down five. Here the Auburn 21. Coley looks to throw. Goes over the middle. Jones knocked away. Great defensive play by Tim Drinker. Second down and ten. Uh -oh. Is it teased? Yes, he was. That sends Jones, the speedster, to the top of the picture. Holy back to throw, slips that little shovel pass inside to Bendross, and Bendross has got a first down, touchdown, Alabama! That's posted. Kim, the extra point. It's good. At 9.50 to go in the third quarter. A little shovel pass from Coley to Bendross. You can see Coley rolling to the left. Bendross is a tight end. He's going to shovel the ball. The coaches call this the old Utah pass. Jack Curtis, when he was coaching at Utah University, used to use this effectively. A great block by Jones. Old touch, the defensive halfback, and Ben Bendross goes in for the score. What a play. And Alabama goes back on top of the Auburn Tigers by a score of 14 to 7. It's a sailor. It goes to Buford at the one. He's got a wedge and he's cut down. Then throws scores. What a play. And Auburn comes back now with probably his quarterback. And from the second down and eight from the 20. First man through. Tommy Carroll, wide man. Bobby Rose that way. Gets his pass off. It's thrown into the seats. Incomplete. Now they drop off. And the kick is away. Not long again. Ball goes through Jones. It's loose. Auburn man chasing it. Clinton can't find it. He's still dribbling it. He falls on it. He's down on the one. It is Auburn football. Can you believe it? All right, they go to a double wing set with Hobby, the quarterback. They give it to people, and people sort of disappears in that stack of white. Here comes Clinton into the picture. Clinton, number two. He picks the ball with his left hand. Watch him dribble it down. He still hasn't got it. Picks it with his right hand, kicks it over with his left hand. He's making a bona fide effort to get the ball. I think that's legal. This is James for the corner. Touchdown. <laughs> the kick. It is up. It is just good. He hooked it pretty sharply, but he got it in. And it's 7.51 to play in the third quarter. We're even again at 14. That is a halfback on the present Auburn team. Bob James. All right, we get a little mix-up down there, but it's Jones who comes down with the ball and looking for the sidelines and finds quite a bit of room as Ken Simon, number 20. And uh, he has the ball, and he will call it second down at about nine, and Coley's on a roll now. Not a whole lot of help over there for the Alabama quarterback, and Coley is down, and clock running, and Walter Lewis is in replacing Ken Coley at quarterback for Alabama on third down and nine. Back to throw it. Got some heat, gets away. Got some more heat, gets it off. Pass incomplete, thrown out of bounds. The punt by Simmons. Clinton, who's been quite a figure in this ball game, accepts it back at the 25. And he's knocked out of bounds up around the 33. Hobby is at quarterback. And George Peoples, second and five. They take it inside again. George Peoples. It'll be a tough six inches. 
Quarterback just dives right down Monk. Auburn playing Alabama. Mighty tough. Here goes Peoples. That's the play he almost. In fact, that's the play he broke the touchdown run on. And second down and one. Let's see if they go along with it. If they'll stay with the ground. Nope. He's going to put it up. He's going for Woods. It's going to be picked off. Kenny Perrin makes the interception. Well, he tried to go for the big play, and it backfired on him. As Perrin makes the interception. But Mickey Ginyard goes in motion, and the ball is handed off to Moore, and the big freshman just keeps on ricocheting. First down tied. Ginyard again in motion, and they go inside again to Moore. They like to stay with Moore. Third down in the yard. Lewis goes outside to Ginyard. And Ginyard has the first down, and the ball comes loose. Auburn says, we've got it. And they do. First down for the Tigers. And inside goes George Peoples again. Getting upset last week by Louisville. It's second down at about five, and here's Buford outside the James. Bad pitch. Lionel James cannot get away. Down he goes at the 35. Third down and eight now for the Tigers. Sullivan, ball batted down. Pressure just barely gets it away. And Jones Summers again. Auburn's got the ball. Recovered it. And the Tigers are in business. First down, the pitch to the wide side, and it is Willie Howell. Holding on Auburn. That's it. First down in about 20. Hobby gives to Lionel James, and James is caught by Al Blue. Second down in about. 14. Hobby sets up the throw. Goes over the middle. The pass is caught by Carroll. Tommy Carroll makes the catch. Quarterback Hobby. Good heaven. Got good movement behind. They're working into the wind. Auburn will have the wind. What little there is in the final quarter. Buford coming out behind some blocking. And turns it back in. And goes down. Penalty flag. Ed West, the tight end. Ball comes back to the Alabama 39. 12 seconds to go in the third quarter. Still first down and long, long, long for Auburn. And the third quarter is over. The score is tied at 14-14. We'll continue after this commercial message and a word from our local station. Second down and 20. Joe Sullivan is the quarterback for the Tigers. Sullivan gets blocking, goes back the other way with it, hits Lionel James with it. Thomas Boyd runs him down and knocks him out of bounds. At the beach. It is Auburn's ball, third down, and a half a yard near the Alabama 13. Buford, the quarterback, goes outside to James. James is out of bounds. That's the five. First and goal to go. Ken Hobby is in at quarterback. First and goal from the five. Peoples is your fullback. And Hobby keeps it. And down he goes. Mike Pitts was right there. Gonna have to go at one time, Keith, or throw for it. I don't believe they can inch it up. It's at the seven now after the two-yard loss. Second down and goal. Hobby gives it to Peoples. He's back to the five. Third and goal from the five. People back toward the center of the field. Missed from 22, and now this is a 19-yarder. The kick 
is good this time. And Auburn is in the lead, 17 to 14, with 12 minutes and 58 seconds to play in a game that has history all over it. And they've scored a touchdown. Joey Jones settles under the kickoff at the five. And he is ridden out at the 24. Lined up in the wishbone for Alabama behind Walter Lewis. Lewis under pressure. Throws a little pass off trying to get it to Moore. It's an incomplete forward pass. And Alan Gray replaces him at quarterback for Alabama. Ben Dross comes wide to the bottom of the picture. Gray goes the other way to the tight side of the field. And Lewis is back now on third and along six. Walter's pass in the air is good. And Bendross has a first down out at the 41. First down Alabama, 41 yard line. That's more. It's second down and four for Alabama. There Moore's in trouble this time. There was good penetration in the middle. First down you to death. Third down. Here's Lewis on a roll. Man had him by the face mask. And he falls away from that. And here's a late flag. You've got a holding call against Auburn. On fourth down, rather than try to make a touchdown on third down, may come back to haunt him. Well, he's he's open for touchdown. Ben Goss, touchdown. Geesey was lined up at tight end. for the kick. He hooks it and he gets it in. And Alabama is back on top, leading Auburn by four. Why would you put the top, you slid in and tied in? Because you know the safety man, Downey, is supporting the option play. You get a little more speed with your set receiver instead of crowd the normal tight end. And you can see how far he is in behind Downey for the touchdown. And we'll be right back after this. Alabama will kick off. Buford is the deep man. He comes across, has a look. It's deep in the end. Oh, my goodness, he's coming out. Well, he gets out to about the 19. All right. From the 19, let's see what Auburn can do with the top hit. Trailing by four points to Hobby. Goes on an option. Out to about the 22. Picked up three yards. It's been a day of fierce. Ebb and flow of emotion. Both teams have had their highs and their lows. They hand it off inside. Peoples the fullback. He's up to about the 24. Maybe going to the Liberty Bowl this year. Buford trying to go down the line on the option. Can't do it. Robbie Jones penetrated and got him. That was good. Low kick. An effort at running it back by Darrell White. First down, Alabama. Lewis at quarterback. That's Lenny Patrick. Can't hold him. Look out. What a set cut determined run by Lenny Patrick. Sensational run. Got 32 yards on the carry. Into the middle goes Pagan. No question. Second down, eight. Patrick again. Touchdown. Patrick got 47 of the 49 yards on the touchdown drive. Tim's kick is good. And it is now Alabama 28 and Auburn 17. Because Alabama has... 11-point lead, and they un have unquestioned emotion on their side right now. They declined the penalty. They will accept the ball where it went out of bounds. 
accept the football at the 31, and they'll go to work. Down by 11 points, and they give it to people. And he gets four to the 35. Second down and six. The quarterback, Javi, keeps it, and he's close to a first down as he gets it out around the 42. 28-17, Alabama. With two touchdowns here in the fourth quarter. Outside it goes to Lionel James. He cuts it back inside, and a good defensive play over there. Winning qualities that you're looking for in a football play. The ball is just over midfield, where it is second down and one. And uh, they try for the first down. They're close to it. Howdy goes outside to James, and James goes out of bounds. Second down, about nine. Hobby, no chance, no chance. Sullivan it is, Joe Sullivan. Third down at about 17. As Hobby puts it up, Castile and Wood bump together, but no. Auburn trying to down it down there, and they got a chance, and they do. Nope, he's on the line. He broke the plane. Ain't he's no. on the goal well, line. Well, it was there. on the goal line. Let's yeah. see. No. no the one that caught it, what they're saying is he broke, broke the, plane. the plane. I don't believe that's the case. The ball has to hit the end zone. Good defensive play by David King. Ruth in there replacing Patrick. The ball goes to Fagan. Fagan coming around the left side. Almost lost the ball. Looked like the first Auburn man that made contact. Walter Lewis, Ken Coley, started the second half. The first voice has played since. This is Caruth. And Caruth goes head over heels. Church on the line. They're going after him. And he gets it out of there. And no roughing. And the ball takes a soft bounce. It takes an Auburn bounce. And the Tigers are going to get it back at about the 38. This could be Auburn's last chance. First down from their own 38. And Tommy steps up, wants to go to Woods, does go at Woods. And they give him the catch. 2.26 to play in the game. Joe Sullivan, the quarterback. Wants to throw it. He's in trouble. He goes down. 24 carries, 144 yards. Hobby's pass is good to Tommy Carroll. Seven, but it's too late. Up the middle goes George Peoples with the ball. 108 to play in the game. Out of the eye this time. For the first down. If they hold on to win this ball game, and I see no real reason now why they won't, this man, Paul William Bryant, becomes the winningest college football coach in history. Hobby's pass is away, and it is incomplete. 49 seconds. It's going to set the record, Keith. It's been a pleasure to see it happen over so many years. Sullivan to throw. And he is hit behind the line of scrimmage by Russ Wood. Up at Cornell now. The pass is away, could be picked off. It is. And if Heron again, and he's got a lot of daylight. They finally get him out of bounds. Up on the 44 with 23 seconds to play in the football game. That will do it. Auburn has one timeout remaining. I don't know if they'll call it or not. The game is over. The man has made history. 315 wins. This is a basic credo of Paul Bryant. If you believe in yourself and have dedication and pride and never quit, you'll be a winner. The price of victory is high, but so are the rewards. As Alabama has defeated Auburn by a score of 28 to 17.